Hey witches, my name is Amy. Just in case you don't know, I'm a witch and I do witchy things on this channel. I post videos when I feel like it. And if you would like to pressure me to post videos or get a say in what I post, you should consider supporting me on Patreon. Shout out to my newest Patreon supporter, Rachel Sykes. So today's video is about dow dousing with a pendulum. Because if you can excuse my lighting and my PlayStation in the back, I'm getting ready to play Final Fantasy um, and also the wiggling. <laughs> so a few of you have been asking me to do a video about spells that didn't work and I was like, my spells mostly work. It's kind of weird to me to talk about things that don't work, but I am always learning new things. So that's what this video is today. I'm talking about something that I'm learning, that I'm working on uh, sharpening my skills in and that I kind of failed at. So I say kind of because it worked a little and it worked didn't work a little. So what we're doing is learning how to douse with a pendulum or to divine uh, specific specific answers or specific objects using a pendulum. So instead of using it as a way to connect with spirits, um, I'm instead using it as a way to find physical objects that I don't currently know where they are. So I use this book and I'm still using this book. I'm gonna show you the exercise that I was working on. Um, it's an exercise where you try to pick, you, you pick all of a certain color of cards. So you take playing cards and say you get uh, six red cards and one black card, and then you turn them, uh, shuffle them and turn them face, up, face down so that you don't have any idea where they are. And then you ask the pendulum to find the odd card out basically. So let's do this, shall we? The, the first thing that I'm going to do is make sure that the pendulum can answer um, the basic yes or no questions. Make sure that it can um, give those answers. So here you see it just gave me a positive yes response and now I'm just um, thinking no at it and it is changing its direction to give me a no response. And then I asked for a neutral response. Now I'm asking the pendulum to identify if the five of clubs is a black card. And you can see that it gave me a positive response that yes, the five of clubs is a black card. Now I'm asking if this is a red card. And you can see I'm getting a negative response. Now I'm going to just make sure the pendulum understands the difference between the colors and ask if this is a red card. And you see the pendulum responded affirmative, this is a red card. Likewise, when I asked if this was a black card, it changed its mind very quickly. So I think it understands the difference between the colors. Now I'm going to begin the exercise by asking the pendulum if this card is a black card. It's indicating yes. And it was correct. This is a black card. Remember that I shuffled the seven cards that I'm using, so I actually don't know where the red cards and black cards are, which should help break down on interference from my mind. It's still not perfect though, because you see, I asked if the last card was black, and it was black, but the pendulum said no. We're going to try this again. This 
This time, I'm trying to cut down on confusion and be a little more straightforward, so I'm trying a different tactic. Instead of asking if each card is black, I'm going to ask if each card is red until I find the red card. This one is not red. Hooray, two correct answers in a row. Notice how this time it's taking a minute for the pendulum to get going. And I actually asked it two different ways. Is this a red card or is this card red? To try and get a specific answer. And it just kept searching. So I switched to a different card and asked, is this card red? The pendulum says no. And that's three out of seven cards this time that the pendulum has identified correctly. Now we're going to try that last card again and ask, is this card red? The pendulum responded affirmative and it is the red card. We won this round, you guys. Ah, oh, thank you. Beautiful. I like to test my results and make sure that they're conclusive, so this time we're going to try with six red cards and one black card. I like to recalibrate between each round, so here I'm just asking my pendulum if it will please help me find the black card. It says yes, so I make sure to say thank you to my pendulum before I get started. Now I'm just asking the pendulum if this first card is the black card. And it says no. But this is the black card. So clearly my pendulum is either uncertain or playing tricks on me. So now I'm just gonna gauge my pendulum and ask, is this the black card? and the pendulum seems to know that this is the black card. Now I'm asking if this is the black card, and the pendulum does seem to understand the difference between the two colors. So I'm going to try one more time, being sure to ask the pendulum if it will help me find the black card. It says yes, I say thank you, and we go ahead and get started. This time I'm going back to my original tactic and asking if each card is red because I know there are more red cards in the deck than there are black ones and I want to see what the pendulum has to say. And it does answer that this card is red. It doesn't seem so sure with this card, and I have to ask a couple of times before moving on to the next one. After a slow start, the pendulum does say yes, this is a red card. And it lied. So personally, one of the learnings I took away from this whole exercise is that it's better to ask for the thing that you are looking for and not the thing that you are not looking for. But I also learned that if I am invested in the answers and cannot separate that from what I am doing, it is harder to get the answers. And also that maybe I shouldn't do this when it's bedtime and I have a headache. 
the relationship that you have with your pendulum is really important and it's something that definitely needs to be respected so if you're having a hard time dousing it's important to just keep going don't blame the pendulum don't blame yourself and try to learn so there we have it proof that i suck sometimes um, but also just proof that everybody keeps learning right and it's pretty interesting the results i got it worked a few times and didn't a few other times something that i want to note is that pendulums are very much sort of like an extension of your unconscious like unless there's a spirit that's influencing them divination for oneself using a pendulum can be very very difficult it's possible certainly possible but it can be very difficult because if you're having emotions or thoughts about the outcome the pendulum will react to that so I actually experienced that a little bit when I was doing this card exercise. Let me know if this is something that you work with as well, something that you've experienced with pendulums. Also, I was using a new pendulum, so I'd only had it for an afternoon or two at this point, and I had you know, cleansed it, and I'd been carrying it around, and I'd been talking to it, and um, using it for various things, but um, it was also new so there were a lot of variables that could have affected this But it could also just be that my brain and my emotions were not detached enough And I think that that's probably really likely so it is something that I failed at Ah, Guys, <laughs> but I also love I just love the challenge of learning new new types of witchcraft and and this was a lot of fun for me it was a really good learning experience and i'm going to keep working at it and it's something i'm going to continue to get better at and i'm excited for that too if there is something that you are learning right now that you're having trouble with or that you're excited because of your progress and you want to share it please leave it in the comments down below even if i don't get to respond to all of them it's really amazing to see what everybody's working on other people might find it really helpful and interesting as well. So thank you again for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, press all the things, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye witches.